Good morning and welcome to my video on how to do continental lever knitting the knit stitch. This swatch is done entirely of the knit stitch for creating garter stitch. In this here video we will not be discussing the pearl version which will be in an eye link up here um, in the top right corner or fully discussing the background story about continental lever knitting, which will also be an eye up here in the top right corner. Okay, with this continental lever knitting, we're using 24-7 um, cotton yarn, the Ecure color, or Ecure color. To do this, I'm gonna do my edge stitch first, You'll find how to do the edge stitch in one of my continental videos, continental lever knitting videos. Okay, so I'm going to knit it in the back loop. And since the continental knitting and lever knitting and all knitting, the first two stitches are usually loose. If you're trying to teach someone, I'm going to go ahead and do my first two stitches. All right, on my second, well, my third stitch here. Whenever I go in, I'm gonna basically go in from the top to the bottom, take my hand, wrap it around, so it grabs the yarn, slide the yarn underneath the top, um, the leftmost needle, so that the right needle, which is my working needle, pops through, and then just slide off. And that's all that is required to do it. No, because as I mentioned before in my pearl video, the way I tension the yarn is, you know, over my middle and my pointing fingers. All the motion that you need and everything you need to do is off the top of your finger. So uh, off the top of your index finger. Therefore, whenever you go in, and here I'll zoom in so you can see better. When you go in, you're touching metal to metal contact with um, DCR Tiago needles so I can feel the, the surface that lets me know that I'm not on the yarn, but I'm actually on the needle. I can go through the, the needle, um, go through the loop in such a way that I can grab the yarn, but I'm not gonna grab the yarn. I'm just gonna close off the tip of the needle so that way it acts like a crochet hook and push the tip of the needle back through the loop so that it pops back out on the other side. Make sure you stab it out through on the other side of your left needle and then just slide the stitch off. Okay, one more time slow and then I'll show you in a little faster detail. Okay, and whenever you go in, you'll know if you split the stitch, now just slide off. And whenever you go to slide off, don't push on the needle because that hurts, especially if you use higher, higher needles. You just want to rest your finger there and let the yarn push itself off. Okay. Now, I'm not going to do this whole row this way. I just wanted to have a big swatch so that you can see it done in motion. But this motion is really, really easy. And as you can see, I am not moving my left needle any. Eventually, you'll get to a point where you can do the motion with your fingers only. So that way you're not rocking your wrist back and forth. Because no, you got to basically do this here motion up over. Make sure you're always moving your left needle. You don't need to move your right needle. If you're doing English style lever knitting, you're going to move your right needle. If you're doing continental style um, lever knitting, you're going to basically be moving your left needle. Okay. Basically, this is all you're doing. Just go in, pull out, go in, pull out through the door, go in, pull out through the door. Okay, I know this here is a bit fast, but I just want to show you the, the concept. 
And here's another little slow view, slow view of it. So I'm gonna go in through the door, grab the yarn, pull it through, and slide it off. So I go in through the door, bring it up, bring it out, and slide it off. Okay. Now that will conclude this here video. And in the future, uh, planning on making a video about uh, speed knitting as a um, tips and tricks to it, but I will be focusing on it in the way of continental lever knitting because that's my method and my preferred method. You can do, uh, before I conclude this video, I will show you this here method. You can do, um, do, do your knit stitches in continental knitting, but in doing continental knitting, like I said, you'll be moving your right needle more. All right, so I'll do my first two stitches in my method. So whenever you're doing continental knitting, you're gonna be basically going in, flicking, or peeking, going in, grabbing, and peeking. Now I'm bending out like this, and I'm coming back in like this. So whenever I go out, grab, and pull through, I'm actually doing more motions than I need to do. That is why, that's why if you already know continental knitting, you're probably going to move your right needle more than you should. So do try to be mindful of that because the way to speed is to reduce the amount of motions that you have to do and therefore making the stitches more efficient to do. All right, well, this concludes my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.